This is a little note for cosplayers and others who want to cosplay or just want a wig collection in general. This wig collection has taken up a lot of my time. I think I've accumulated a lot of wigs um, from when was the dates? Probably I'd say 2017 till now because when I was younger I actually thought cosplay was a phase and I was gonna grow out of it. I had like 20 plus wigs and then I was like ah I think it's a phase and then I threw them out. I should have kept them and I really regret not keeping all my cosplay stuff. I seriously thought I was done with cosplay but these wigs are from me working and just in general just the collection of all of them. Oh I forgot to tie up my hair hold on. I was gonna wear a wig cap for these but I feel like it would just come off every single time I switch my wig. So I have these little hair ties. I need to buy more of these. I'm also listening to music. So if you see my earbud, that's why. I was super excited to do this video. I wanted to show you guys, everyone's been asking me, where do you get your wigs? How many do you have? And I really appreciate the comments and, you know, questions. So I thought I'd do a little review as well as show you my whole wig collection. There's, I think, I don't actually know how many wigs there are, but we'll see. So this one's my Lolita one. It has like pinkish hues in it. It's really pretty. It's like a ginger kind of color. It's like honey color. So this one is one I use when I'm using my Lolita dresses. It's a really nice wig. It's got like realistic looking. I might take photos with these, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just gonna comb it out a little. That was my ring. <laughs> so this one has bangs. This is actually the Rapunzel one. I don't know if they still have it on the site because I got it like a, I think someone pre-ordered it and then I bought it second hand. But this has like bangs. Let me see if I can figure this out. I really love this wig. I'd probably rate it. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'd rate it, but I do love it. It's probably like a seven out of 10. I cut the, the wig was super, super long and I didn't want to brush it, so... So this is the second wig that I wanted to show you guys. This is a chocolate rose type, I think. I'm not sure, but it's also from the same company, Dreamholic. I love their stuff, their wigs in general. They have realistic cap, like um, skin cap type. And it's really, it's really nice. It shines really well when taking photos and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make sure, cause I haven't worn, the last time I think I wore this wig was a while ago. So it's like a little bob. This one's kind of cute. I love this one. I like wearing it the short version too. So it has a gradient. If you can see, I don't know if it catches it on camera, but it has a darker color and then it goes a little bit lighter. It fits my face shape. I really love it. So this was the chocolate version. It looks pink and then dark pink, has like a gradient. And then these are the two. I would definitely wear this more. I just don't have a reason to because I don't wear Lolita anymore. So this is the second part. It's kind of knotted. I kind of tied this up a little bit. The clip is a little bit tricky to get. Okay, so here's the second wig. 
these little ends are a little bit frayed, so I might go back and restyle it or trim it just a little bit, brush it out. So you could either wear it with the short bob or you could wear it with the pigtails. It looks cute either way, but I love this wig. I got this as a bargain because I got the, th the third wig with this wig, and so I wanted to wear it more, I guess. I really love this. I'd probably bring this on a date. I think it looks pretty cute. This is the third wig on my list. This is Kind of like the second one but a little bit different so this one has two tones to it, it has light pink and violet not violet lavender it's a super pretty color so it's also the bob and it does have bangs it's kind of a little bit messy okay i haven't worn this wig also in a long long time I'm just hoping it doesn't ruin my makeup. Okay, so this is the second, sorry, not the second wig. This is the third wig. It actually matches my jacket. <laughs> not really, but then you have the pigtails. So you could either wear it on this side or the other side. This one, these are bigger clips compared to the second one. So this has more volume. So this is the third wig. I really love this wig. I think it looks super cute. I just don't have a reason to wear it. You can also style the bangs how you like and these bangs are a little bit uneven so I'm probably gonna go back and trim them. I should go for my blues because I have a ton of blue wigs or my blondes. Blonde is also another very popular color with a lot of my cosplays. I guess we'll go for blonde. So a little story about this one. I ordered this for a gopher tie from, oh, I forget the show, but you'll probably know what I'm talking about. I'll probably post it. <laughs> so this is from the company, I can never say it right. It starts with a U. I can't say it right, so I'm not going to even try it. I'm not going to butcher it. This one's a super cute wig. I use it for Eloise as well as like my platinum blonde characters. Mostly male characters. Mostly like masculine characters. So this one's, I don't usually wear this one. It's just super cute because you can style it. This one also reminds me of Honey Senpai from Host Club. If you love Host Club, comment below who your favorite Host Club character is. Mine would probably be Honey because everybody underestimates him and they're like, Ah, oh, no, he's innocent. Like, what are you talking about? And then he's like really like strong and stuff. So I love this wig because it's like a blonde. It goes with a lot of my outfits. Some of the wig colors also look different depending on the light and stuff. So I try to pick ones that might suit me. So this would be great for Honey Senpai or another blonde character like Platinum Blonde. So this is a Platinum Blonde. I really love this wig too. I love all my wigs. So usually when I shop for wigs, it's all about quality or how they look or something. I just, there's something about it. It's fun wig shopping, but I hate it because it's sometimes you don't even know what you're gonna get. Like you look at the stock image and then they all look the same. And it's like, how do you know which one to buy? 
I always have trouble with that. I usually go for blonde, so I think I have a type. It's super cute. I love this one. And it also has a little bit of curls in it. This could also be from Mika from Genshin Impact too. I got this roughly, I think, for $8. I'll probably list the prices along with my wigs. So this one is the fourth one. We are on the fifth wig, and this one is the one I use all the time. I've used this wig so many times. It even has holes in it from my cap. Okay, so I actually didn't, I styled this. Oh, I have my wig cap in here. Hold on, I have, um. So I actually pre-styled this with, bur not barrettes, yeah, barrettes. I styled it with bobby pins. So. This one is the one I use all the time. You've probably seen me in the shorts with this one on. This one gets a lot of comments. I'm not gonna brush it out, but it comes with, so it's very similar to the first two, first three. This one is also by Dreamholic. I think I got this for 30, I don't actually know. So. It's supposed to have little bangs here, but I can't actually see. So this is like a bob cut. I have so many bobby pins in here. I want to take them all out. So this one is the one you guys have been commenting about, as well as like asking me, where do you get the wig? <laughs> and I never usually use these bangs and I usually part them when I style my wigs. So it's it depends on the character, honestly. My cat's watching me. So this one has a very similar style to wigs two and three. This one has shorter pigtails. It's kind of curly. It has bigger clips though. So this one would be great for Elizabeth from Black Butler. I've used this wig on her before. I don't have green contacts though. I would cosplay her though. So this one's more a Lolita look. And I kind of chopped the ends. It's a super nice wig though. And you can use it for like Barbara. Barbara would actually look really good in this wig. I don't know how I feel about the bangs though. But if you're looking for the bangs and what they look like. I'd have to move this up. So it would look kind of like this. I don't really know how I feel about it. It's super messy. I'm probably gonna wash this later, but definitely great for Barbara. This reminds me of Barbara from Genshin Impact. This is the short version of the longer wig. to the sixth wig this one was off amazon this is coterie from love live i'm actually selling this one i really don't like the look this one's kind of like a a wheat color like barley it looks green on camera i don't know why but it's actually like a honey honey color i'd say so this one i'm still considering if i want to sell it it's a very nice wig it has good quality. It doesn't shed a lot. So it also has a bang. So this would be great for any Lolita look. I kind of got it because I was into Lolita and then I quickly fell out of Lolita. But this is a pretty nice wig, but it's not my favorite. It also comes with the side ponytail. I think it's definitely a cute look, but it just doesn't suit me. I guess it's more to the front, right? 
I forget what she looks like, but it's it's super cute. It just doesn't suit me. I just don't think. So definitely something I'll be selling. And I also cut it. You guys can't see, but I kind of cut the the ends. It, it it was really rough. It's I gotta do a another cut on this one. I think. Are up to the seventh wig this one was a mercari purchase i purchased this because the seller said it was brand new and this is kane from i was gonna say love live no please don't come after me it's kane from the vtuber community <laughs> uh, i just thought the hairstyle was super cute and i've actually used this wig in multiple videos as well as photos and i really think it's really cute so I don't know, it just suits me better. I think I'd pick this one over the other one. So number six. So this one's number seven. It has a little bit of a part in the middle. It's super cute. You can kind of style it. And I also put a little tie here so I can tie it up when I'm doing my photo shoot. In comparison to the last wig that we saw, this is, I'm going to show you the color comparison. So in the last wig, it was, they're roughly the same, but very, very different. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like, um, the other one is honey color. And this one's like a wheat color. It doesn't show up on camera really well, so I'm really sorry. This one, I really love though. I brought it, bought it brand new and the seller was really nice, so. I love buying wigs on Mercari because it's secondhand. And sometimes people don't even use the item and they just want to get rid of it or sell it. So Mercari is a great site. I love it. I use it all the time for everything. And sometimes you can find really good wigs. Sometimes you can find AliExpress, How About wigs, cosplay wigs, anything like that. I love, like I love Mercari. I shop on there all the time. But I love this wig. I've used it for photos, like so many photos, so. It's a nice wig. Number eight and nine are both the same character. I bought two wigs because usually for Ciel's look, I buy two to three wigs. Sometimes there's a different color that I like, and so that's why I buy multiple. I'm always switching up his looks. And so the first one is the one that most people do know. It's this one, it's kind of, I don't know what brand it is. I'm pretty sure it's an Amazon brand, but it's not the one that I usually go for. This is more silvery, white, gray. It's just got a bunch of colors in it. And I don't like it when it shows up on camera. This one came in a free, or like this wig was for free when I purchased my 15th anniversary cosplay. They said they'd include it. That was really sweet of them, but unfortunately it just doesn't suit me. I don't know if I have a third. No, I don't have a third wig. I was about to say. So this one's long. So I think this one was a new wig and they just, they didn't want it for whatever reason. This is really long. I'd have to cut it if I wanted to make it CL's wig, but it's like, um, not my favorite. I might be selling this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's super nice though. It, I mean, it's got good quality. It's just not my thing. It's, I usually go for quality when I'm searching for wigs. This one has quality, but I hate the color of CL's wig. It's like gray bluish. 
yeah I I don't know just personal preference but it's a pretty nice wig I'm pretty sure they got it off Amazon probably not gonna link it below cuz I don't know where the store is but it's a nice wig it's it's very soft I wanted to update you guys and say that so I bought a new CL wig last year and I wanted to just do a comparison with them. So this one, I wish I had my very old one, but I didn't like that one either. This one is my new CL wig. It's like greenish. It's darker blue, but it, it's got green tints in it. In the light, it shows up as green. I don't know why. I have to recut this and buy a new one. But in comparison to the one that I just showed you, this one is, yeah, I'd say this one's a little bit more greener and this one's a little bit more realistic to CL. But I use this one a lot for CL because it just matches everything. This one is the one that I always wear for CL. I. I post him with this wig all the time. I have to update and actually rebuy his wig. And I think I'm gonna get the ponytail one, ones with the ponytails. But I really love this one. It's dark blue. It still looks green in the light. I don't know why. It's just the lighting in the bathroom. It's a really cute wig. A lot of you have been asking, when am I gonna do CL Vanta Pive? The answer to your question is, I don't know when I'm gonna do CL Vantapive. I probably am when I get his wig, cause I've just been busy, like super busy. But you guys seem to love this wig. I'm really happy with it too though, but I think these in the back needs to be trimmed. And I, I have things to fix with it, so I'll link the, I'll link it down below though. In case you guys are interested, if you want to cosplay CL and you like this style of wig, I'll also post some pictures as reference to this wig as well. Just so you guys can get a better idea of what it looks like in cosplay, but I use this all the time for CL if I don't have a backup wig on hand. This is the ninth wig. You guys have been loving this wig. I really don't like it, so I actually bought another one and I'm waiting on that order so that I can do my next video. So that's why I've been hesitant and waiting and I'm so sorry that there's been a delay. But this one is my Ayato wig. So this one's, I had to style this a lot and I recently cut it and I don't know how I feel about it. I think it just, it doesn't suit me. Oh, this is way too tight. I think it's because I had a wig cap on. It's nice, but it just, it doesn't suit me. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It just gives me mixed reviews. And also I didn't style it properly. So when I get my new wig, I'm probably gonna do the video that I meant to do, meant to post this week, but I didn't because I didn't order the right supplies. So there is a special video coming up for Ayato, so don't worry about that. It's just, I didn't have the supplies and that's why I waited two weeks because I thought that it would be ordered and then it got mixed up and anyways. So this one, I think I might be selling because I really hate the way I styled it and it just doesn't suit me. Maybe it's just the lighting, I'm not even sure. We are on to my 10th wig. This one was my recent purchase, the one that I did a review on. I will show you guys. This one comes with a wig cap, but it's lighter than all Haytham's. Oh, when I put, I have a habit of putting these little bobby pins in the wigs and not taking them out. And then it's frustrating when I want to cosplay and these are all over the place. 
This one's a super nice one. I love this one. I love the color. Kind of reminds me of Paimon. I don't know why. It just does. <laughs> it's super cute and it's also super silky. I got this off Amazon. It was from my costumes. I usually hide one of my eyes because I'm always cosplaying CL and it's become a habit now. <laughs> I also do a lot of shorts with this one too as well. We are up to my 11th wig. This one is my Al Haytham wig. I wanted to show you, this is my Al Haytham wig and this one is my Nyan's wig. Different color. This one annoys me because you can't put anything on the inside, so you can't put accessories on the wig itself. With this one, you can because on the inside it has open, it has a little bit more room to put accessories. This one you can't, so I tend to look for more that have open access and stuff like that. I haven't worn this one in a long time. I wore this. Last time I wore this was when I was pulling for El Haytham and I got him. I actually didn't even style this, it just came like this. It's a pretty nice wig. It doesn't, does it shed? No, it doesn't actually shed that much. I like it, but it, it tends to be on the shinier side. Also on this wig, I just realized that there's, it's two-tone, so under here, you get a different color. It's a little bit darker gray, kind of greenish bluish. On to my last wig. This wig was because I was watching the show Nanao. It's so good. If you haven't watched it on Netflix, it's so good. I love it. But I don't think I counted correctly. So probably I have 13. I'm not sure. I'll probably have to count again. But this one is my last wig. I don't use it a lot. It's more for Lolita looks. It's also a little bit heavy. This is my, this is actually my original hair color. This is like a dark brown, but my hair color is actually black. It, this one is from Alice Gardens and it also has little clips. The only thing I don't like about this wig is probably I don't have enough room to put accessories. I usually like to accessorize and put little headbands or something like bows. But this one is a little bit, this reminds me of Yumiko uh, and then from Holic, it reminds me of Yuko but I really like this wig. It kind of makes me imagine what I would look like if I had long hair. This one sheds just a little bit, but I really like it. It's from Alice Garden. I might take some pictures later with it. I like the bangs in the front, but I kind of have to pull it up. If you're ever having trouble with bangs in general and they just, they're in your face all the time, but you don't want to cut the wig, move the wig up, like up to here and then put the bangs. It looks weird at first, but you'll probably get used to it. You can't really tell that it's all the way up there if you wear a wig cap. It's a really nice wig though. I would wear it more, but I just don't have a reason to because I'm not into Lolita. These are all the wigs that I have currently and I'll probably be updating this in the future. Let me know or comment below if you guys want to see more looks with these wigs. I have a ton in, of ideas in my head about what looks I could do, but if you want to see me do a makeup look or 
you know, do a wig review, I'd be happy to do one. I also am planning on doing a haul of wigs. If you guys would be interested, let me know below. But that's all I have. Thanks, loves. I will catch you later.